na 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 Hey guys, welcome again to another battle report. Today's game will be between trolls and mercenaries. For the trolls, we have Horlock 2 with his battle group made up of Mulg, a bomber, a mauler, an impaler, an axer, a uh, unit of pen blades with a unit attachment, swamp gobbers, and Janisa. For the mercenaries, we have Blaze. In her battle group, we've got Gallant, Resonante. Attached to her is Silis. For the units, we have Ayana and Holt, two full units of Steelhead Halberdiers, a full unit of Steelhead Heavy Cavalry, Harlan Versch, Lanissa, Rupert Carvalho, and Stannis. Today's scenario is called Fire Suit. allocates one focus to Resonante. The steel heads activate and run. Stannis runs. Steelhead Heavy Cavalry runs. Versh runs. Lenissa runs. Carvalho gives march to the Steelhead Halberdiers and then moves. Steelhead Halberdiers run. Dissonante runs. Gallant activates, he gains a focus from his accumulator and uses that focus to run. Blaze moves, casts Transference, and then casts Banishing Ward on the Halvid Ears. Ayana and Holt run. Silas runs. Axer casts Rush on Bomber. Charges for 3 inches extra movement. The Impaler casts Farsight on the Bomber and stays where he is. The Bomber then moves and shoots at a Halvinir. Now the shot is short so it deviates. Deviation hits Carbolo and Resonante. The bomber boosts the damage on Carbolo. Killing him. No damage was done to Resonante. The bomber buys an attack on the same target. Again, it deviates. 
it hits one halberdier and Lenissa. The bomber boosts damage on the halberdier, killing it. It also boosts the damage on Lenissa, also killing her. Now the fen blades run. The mauler moves. Mulg moves. Horlock activates. Casts Wild Aggression on Mulk, casts Refuge on the Bomber, and then moves. Janissa moves and casts Rock Wall. The Swamp Gobbers receive the Cloud Cover Order. They move and place the Cloud. Silis upkeeps Transference, Blaze, upkeeps the Vanishing Ward, and allocates two focus to Resonante. Blaze moves, casts Crusader's Skull, and pops her feet. Halvideers get the uh, charge order and charge the fen blades. The first charge attack hits and deals enough damage to kill the fen blade who failed its stuff check. The second attack misses. Now the third Halvideer targets the same pen blade. This time the attack hits and deals enough damage to go through the armor, but it makes its tough check. Now Gallant activates, he gains a focus from his accumulator, and moves. Now the cavalry activate. They do a ride by attack. The first one moves, takes a shot at the pen blade that made its tough check, hits. Deals enough damage, but the fen blade makes its stuff check. Now this un this model continues its move. The second cavalry also moves, takes a shot at the same target, hits, deals enough damage, but it once again made its stuff check. Like the first, this model completes its movement. The rest of the unit simply moves. Silis moves. Resonante moves and shoots at the Axer, boosting his hit. He hits and boosts damage, dealing 8 on 3. The second unit of Halvideers run. Ayana and Hold activate and just move. Vengeance triggers for the Fen Blades. They move towards the Halvideers and attack. The first attack hits and kills a Halvideer. A second attack hits another Halvideer, also killing it. The third one that attacks also hits the halberdier and kills it. The Axer activates, casts Rush on the bomber and stays put. The bomber then moves and shoots at Stannis. It boosts to hit. It hits and uh, deals 7 damage to Stannis. The blast clips Blaze and Resonante. The bomber boosts its damage on Blaze and deals 2 points of damage.
the bomber then buys another attack, misses, and deviates, clipping three halberdiers. The blast actually manages to kill two. The Mauler then activates and charges a Halberdier. He boosts to hit and kills the Halberdier. The Mauler is then forced to go. Mulg activates, charges a Halberdier. He boosts to hit. He hits and kills him. He is then also forced to go. He then buys an attack on another Halberdier. He boosts to hit but misses. He buys another attack but misses again. Horlock then activates and casts Primal Shock using the Mauler as the source, targeting Blaze. But it's actually short. Horlock then moves and casts Wild Aggression on Mauler. He then casts Primal Shock on Stannis using Mulg as the source. It hits and kills Stannis. Janissa moves and casts Rock Wall. The Swamp Gobbers once again receive the Cloud Cover Order. They move and place the Cloud. The Impaler moves. The Fen Blades activate, use their mini feet, and run. Sealess upkeeps transference. Banishing Ward expires. Two focus is allocated to Gallant, three to Resonante. Ayana and Holt activate. They move. And Ayana casts Kiss on the bomber. It hits and Holt shoots the bomber. Hits, dealing 2 damage on 2. The second shot misses. Resonante activates and charges the bomber. The charge attack misses. He buys another attack. This attack hits and deals 4 on 6. He buys one more attack. It hits and deals 9 on 5. The Halberdiers charge. One charges the Axer. The rest charge the bomber. The charge on the Axer misses. The two that charge the bomber do a CMA and hits, dealing 4 damage on 3. The remaining 3 do another CMA on the bomber. It hits, dealing 10 on 2, killing the bomber. The second unit of Halberdiers activate. One Halberdier attacks a Fen Blade. Using Transference, Constanza boosts the hit roll of his Halberdier. He hits, deals enough damage, but the Fen Blade makes its tough check. Gallant then activates, 
gains a focus from its accumulator, charges smug, he hits, and deals 17 damage on 2. He buys an attack, hits, and deals 11 on 4. Buys one last attack, hits, and deals 12 damage on one, killing Mal. The cavalry receive the assault order. Three assault the fen blades, and two assault the mauler. The first model attacks its target with a backswing attack. The first attack hits. The fen blade failed its stuff check. Second attack hits, also dealing enough damage. Once again, the Fen Blade fails its stuff check. The second model makes its assault shot, misses. It also does a backswing attack. The first attack hits, deals the damage. The Fen Blade fails its stuff check, and it dies. The second attack hits, also killing its target. The third model no longer has any uh, valid target. The fourth model makes its assault shot against the mauler. It hits and deals 8 damage on 1. The last model makes its assault shot, misses. It does a backswing. The charge attack hits and deals 14 on 2. The second attack also hits and using transference, he boosts his damage roll, dealing 13 on 1, killing Malak. Blaze activates and runs towards the flag. Silis activates and also runs. Now since Blaze is base to base with the flag, she dominates and gains 2 points. The Axer does a frenzy check and it fails it, causing it to frenzy. It charges a nearby Halbedir. He hits it and kills it. Vengeance triggers for the Fen Blades. They attack the Halberdiers. The first one hits and kills the Halberdier. The second Fen Blade attacks, also killing its target. The third Fen Blade attacks, also killing its target. A different Fen Blade attacks a different Halberdier, but misses. And one Fen Blade attacks a cavalry model. He hits but deals no damage. The Fen Blades activate and charge. The first Fen Blade hits and kills a cavalry model. The second one hits a halberdier, kills it. The third Fen Blade hits and takes out another cavalry model. The fourth Fen Blade hits a cavalry model but fails to damage it. Next Fen Blade attacks the same target. He hits and does 3 points of damage. Janisa then activates. She moves and casts Rock Hammer towards the Halberdiers. She hits and clips 3 additional targets. All four targets die. Now, Horlock activates. He pops his feet and charges Blaze. He takes a defensive strike from Rocinante. The attack hits and Horlock takes 8 points of damage. On his attack, Horlock boosts to hit, but misses. He buys an additional attack, boosting it, also misses. He buys one more attack, he boosts, this time he hits and deals 9 points of damage. He buys one last attack, he boosts it, but misses. The Impaler then activates, moves, and tries to shoot Blaze. 
it boosts to hit, but misses. At this point, Raph concedes the game, and mercenaries win.